Kate Hansen, you're in Sochi, Russia. You're representing the United States of America as an Olympic athlete. How can you describe this experience? So, um, you know, honestly, it's, I really don't even have words for it. This is something that I've looked forward to my entire life, and to actually be here, it's like I won't really ever let myself think it's real. But um, it's just been so cool just to be in the athlete village and just to to be on the same level as um, all these athletes that I've looked up to for so long and just to be able to be on the same team as them and just to represent the country. It's just an unbelievable feeling. A feeling unlike any other, I'm sure. So how about the opening ceremonies when you walk into the stadium and you realize and it hits you that you're a United States Olympian? I was crying. I was bawling <laughs> the whole time um, during opening ceremonies. It was, it was such a powerful moment walking out of the tunnel um, with Team USA and we were all cheering, we were all yelling and it was just, it was so cool and you really just felt like, you I don't know, personally I just felt so empowered as an athlete, the fact that I had the opportunity to be on this world stage. So it was, it was a dream. I'm too curious not to ask because you and I were both born that, down there in La Cunada and the last thing in the world my parents were doing was signing me up for luge lessons. So how in the world... <laughs> Did that come about for you, your parents, your family, to result in this? Um, so it's pretty random. Um, so USA Lose, they do these recruitment programs, and they pretty much travel around America, and it's an open call for all kids in the area to try out. And so they have the same sleds with wheels on them. So they came to Long Beach, California when I was 10, and my dad had heard about it from a friend, and um, they knew I grew up skating and surfing, and so... They saw maybe there'd be some kind of correlation with it all, and um, they were right. And 12 years later, I find myself at the Olympics. That, that's pretty cool. And there at the yeah. Olympics, of course, the 10th place finish. Bill Plasky wrote in the LA Times yesterday that you're the happiest 10th place finisher in Olympic history. How accurate would you say that statement is? <laughs> you know, it's actually pretty funny that he said that, but um, I think very accurate, but... I mean, honestly, going into these games, my goal was to get a top 10 finish. Like, I knew it was possible, and I just, you know, just squeezed in there. So, um, I mean, I'm equally stoked on my, my finish as well. But, I mean, how could I not enjoy this experience? It's probably the most I've smiled during sliding in a long time. And I, I, just, I had so much fun with it. And to be able to have my family there was just unbelievable. Well, and I got to tell you that I can't get on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. I can't turn on the TV without seeing that smile. You were on the Today Show this morning. How cool is all this attention that you're receiving? You know, honestly, all this attention was the last thing I was expecting, and I was not on any of this happening. But, I mean, it's cool. Like, it's cool to um, experience all this. I mean, if I seriously feel like it's like 15 seconds of fame because... I mean, the Olympics come around once every four years. So after these Olympics, I mean, who knows? We'll see. But, I mean, it's been, it's been a pretty cool experience to feel that, um, be a part of all of it. I got to do it, Kate. I got to ask you about your dancing. Your friends told me that you just dance your way through life. It looks like you're dancing your way through Sochi as well. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Well, it's just funny because, I mean, I just happened to be on a world platform and, like, so this whole dancing, dancing thing is getting blown up pretty huge. But honestly, I just always loved dancing. Like, that is just something that I've always done and I will always do. But how it specifically probably started with in Luge is um, at the beginning of this year, I broke my foot. And so I was in a boot. I couldn't warm up properly. Like, I couldn't run. I couldn't do, like, I couldn't do skips or anything. And so dance. So I could, like, stand in place. And I could, like, pop and lock. And that would get me warmed up. And that was seriously my best option to get ready um, for training. And so it kind of just evolved from that, I guess. And then ever since then, I've, I've danced before every World Cup. And I pretty much just go find my own corner, blast my headphones, and then I, I just let loose. Like, no one's watching, except everyone's watching. But <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. What was your reaction when you saw that Beyonce mentioned you on her Facebook page? <laughs> Seriously, that is every girl's dream. That is, that is un like, who needs an Olympic medal? I don't need one. Beyonce mentioned me on Facebook. <laughs> it's good enough. 
No, it was like I literally, I don't even have words, words for it. Not that even she would even like be anything like that. That, oh, that is so cool. Well, and she's not your only fan because here in Provo, you are a hot topic as well. Kate, what does the support that you've received from your BYU family mean to you? Um, I'm just so honored the fact that people would even take interest in this weird sport that I do, yet alone even know my name for that matter. But, I mean, I don't know, it definitely makes me feel pretty special with it all. When you get back to the U.S. and for the rest of your life as you look back on Sochi, what are you going to most remember and cherish about it? Um, you know, that's a good question. I mean, that's a real thing here, really. That's something I've dreamed about. Like, I've definitely dreamed about the Olympics, but opening ceremony specifically was something that I had dreamed about my entire life. And, like, it's just, it's just an unbelievable feeling to be able to walk out of Team USA. But honestly, I think... Um, I think just the whole experience of meeting other teammates, like, and just being casual about it. Like, there's just a mutual respect for, for all the athletes that are here. And so it's just cool to, like, walk up to someone who who I know, I know their name, I know what sport they do, I know everything about them, and for them just to, like, kind of have it be the same about me and have it be like, hey, like, great job yesterday, and just to have this fellow camaraderie. So what is that like? What is that Olympic Village like? Is it just everyone is friends and friendly and just kind of a giant two-week party? Like, I kind of compare it to the dorms a little bit. So it's just like a bunch of dorms everywhere, except it's full of professional athletes. So when I first got here, I was like, oh, man, this is this is my mojo. Like, this is what I, I love. Like, I love the dorms. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do great. But I kind of forgot that everyone's here, like, on a job, like, to compete. And so... Um, things like were kind of intense at the beginning, you know, everyone, everyone had training and whatnot, but I think once everyone finishes with their competitions and things will ease out a little more. Finally, what, uh, what do the next couple of weeks look like? You're going to stay out there and go to different events and keep just enjoying the experience? Um, yeah, just hang out just enjoy the Olympic spirit that they've got out here and take it all in. Kate Hansen, BYU's Olympian from Sochi, Russia. Kate, it's been really fun watching you compete and really just make the most of the opportunity that you've had out there. Thanks for joining us. Keep having fun out there, and we'll talk to you when you get back. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Sunday.